Welcome to Miles Entertainment. My name is Jesse Miles Stone, and I am at day four of, 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 of Star Wars Celebration. I know I promised that I was going to die the past several nights. It might happen tonight. Who knows? World Class Bullshit is coming over for games and Game of Thrones and alcohol. And Jeff was like, do you want me to bring something that'll really fuck you up? And I was like, I guess. <laughs> so that's going to happen. But right now, all right, I've got so much I want to talk to you guys about. There's a million videos I want to make. Uh, but there's the one thing that has been eating at me ever since they dropped the trailer. Um, and I, I might have mentioned, I think I mentioned it when I covered the trailer. But there's, it bears uh, taking a closer look at because why does Kylo Ren never use the tools at his disposal? Ever. He would so much rather, he's like, I am flying a TIE Fighter. First of all, why are you using a TIE Fighter to chase somebody on the ground? That's so impractical to begin with. Your TIE Fighter has guns. Why aren't you just shooting her with your lasers? Your lasers. Why? I d and, then, and then the body slam. The Ooh, cool slow-mo body slam shot. Looks so dope, bro. He's holding a lightsaber. You are one of the few people in the galaxy that gets to use a lightsaber. And half the time, you'd rather swirl it around in your hands and then shove somebody instead. He does this. He does this in the throne room scene, which I'm going to give you guys a full breakdown of at some point. Um, half the time, his lights, he has like a perfectly good hand. There's a spark in that where he's holding his lightsaber down at his side, doing nothing with it, fighting like three guys at once, and he'd rather take his hand, grab one, throw that guy into the other. He'd rather do that than take the lightsaber in this hand and cut both of them in half with it. No wonder he's so bad at, no wonder he's so angry all the time because he's using up all of his energy to body check people when he has a lightsaber. I just, if I had a lightsaber, I would cut everything in half with it. Things that I really shouldn't be cutting in half with lightsabers, like puppies. No, I would never cut a puppy in half. That's just, that's horrible. Puppies are adorable. I would cut babies in half. That would be awesome. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. What's funnier than a dead baby? Half a dead baby. I didn't show. Jesse, no, we're not gonna tell dead baby jokes for now. We already did, it's too late. Anyway, lightsaber. You have a lightsaber and the force. Why? Are you using your bare hands for everything? Oh, right, because you wanted, that's, that's, because when you don't take off your shirt for everyone to see, no one knows how secretly swole you are. I took a picture with the Ben Swole today. That was cool. I'll post that on Twitter later. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, do you just really, really need everyone to know how strong you are all the time? Also, like, your lightsaber is impractical to begin with because you have these two hilts going. Also, your lightsaber is impractical to begin with because your cross guard goes sticking out to the side with lightsaber bits on it, so it's so easy to accidentally impale yourself at any given moment. At any given moment. So why would you just have your lightsaber dangling around in your hand, using it as like an, a, an accessory, as a decoration, while you're waving your hands around doing all these things? You should have accidentally eviscerated yourself so many times. Or is that it? Is that your actual lightsaber skill? It's not actually fighting with your lightsaber, it's managing not to actually gut yourself with your lightsaber. Wow, we're all so impressed. Way to use the force, dark side. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That's I just needed to get needed to get that off my chest, guys. I was not gonna survive if I didn't. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and press that like button. Um, if you want to see more, if you want to get uh, click that video, get involved with me. Um, that'll give you Patreon. That'll give you uh, social media links. Tea Tea Spring from T-shirts. Uh, ways to get in contact. Everything you do, all your engagement with this channel helps it grow. So don't forget to hit the notifications bell. Notifications bell. Subscribe and share and do all of those things. You guys rock, and we'll talk again real soon. If I survive tonight, no guarantees.